One of the biggest lessons I've learned going through this whole process of opening up or developing Introduce was communication. Let's talk about that in a bit. Hi, I'm Paul Schmidt. I'm the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. And I wanna take a little bit of this, this segment, a little bit of your time right now to go back to some things I had to reflect on after uh, I had my stroke. And one of the things that was prominent in the situation that I faced and that um, was huge in the development of where I had the company was about in the communication phase. Um, one of the lessons I learned as I was going through the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Program, um, there was a there was an assignment that we had to do, and one of the in that in that assignment was picking five things that could potentially close your business or really put you on your heels as a business owner. And one of those uh, situations I chose was losing my key employee. And uh, nevertheless, that happened. <laughs> and when that happened, I was, I was reeling and trying to figure out exactly what I did or didn't do because I thought that this person um, who was extremely talented, very good at this, I found out that this was not the road or the profession, profession that she wanted to be in. As extremely talented as, as she was. And I didn't know that. And if I would have sat down and talked to her a little bit more and figure out what her goals are and what um, the situation is that she needed, um, or just finding out, okay, this is not where she wants to go. Maybe I have to make a contingency plan to um, find somebody to fill her space because she's ready to move because it came as a bit of a shock and it shouldn't have. That type of communication is really, really key to figuring out what your employees need, what you need even, and just having that dialogue of, you know, trying to, trying to, you know, figure all that out. And it's, and I mean, sometimes it's difficult. You get busy and you're trying to run a business, you're trying to do that. You don't have, sometimes you feel like you don't have time for that, but you have to make time. Otherwise, you might get caught in a situation um, that's very compromising and you have to figure it out. And so that was one of the things that I had to, um, work at and did I bounce back? Yeah, but it, was, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. There was a lot of things that I had to put into place um, and you know, and just going forward, but I made it a point from that, from that lesson uh, to make sure that there's conversations consistently about where folks that work with me are and that they feel like they're that it's open for them to have a conversation and you know and have that give back and that give and take. So lesson learned. So if you're if you're in a business and you have employees, conversate. It's not like you I'm not saying you need to take them out and be buddy buddy with them and all that other stuff. That's not what I'm saying. But you do have to have open communication so that if something does happen either to you, you know, the, the, the employees know exactly what the next steps are, but also if something has to happen to them to move on, you have things in place to shift to the next phase. So 
So communication, I know it sounds like a no-brainer, but it's not always easy for people. And it's, but it's another aspect of being a business owner that makes you have to be, have to think so outside the box sometimes and get out of your comfort zone. Because if you, <laughs> if you liked being in your comfort zone, you wouldn't be in business. So think about that communication. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the email newsletter as well as check out our website for all the other wonderful videos uh, going forward in this year. Thanks for taking this journey with me. See you next time.